Today's video is brought to you uh, in partnership with the uh, Wrench app. Um, it's a app for sharing and getting assistance with uh, your motorcycle projects, builds, rebuilds, restorations, etc. It's fairly new, it's only been out for about a month. Um, the developers have been really good with me. Um, I've used it personally. Uh, you'll find me on there. I'll put some screenshots and see if I can put some links together down below um, so you can see the app. They've been uh, really good with uh, working on a bunch of the kinks and working with the community. They've added a couple different things for my strange bikes like the YSR80, my particular year and model weren't listed. They've added that. The 48, four, uh, 48 Harley, the two-stroke S125. They had like 51 and stuff. They've added 48 for me. Um, yeah. So they've been really helpful that way. It looks like it's going to pick up as a nice community. They've got a nice little base. Things are picking up and things are starting to show. Uh, give, them a, give them a look. Uh, you can find the links down below for, uh, you can find it on the iTunes. Uh, it's for I, iOS and Android. Um, but yeah, um, thanks to them for, uh, for contributing and helping us out. Hey, it's Logan and Rick with uh, Grayman Racing here. Um, we're working on the YSR again. We got a few things to take care of. It's uh, got an oil leak from the case, so the actual oil inside the case, as well as we're finding, you probably can't see it, but that lovely two stroke oil there. Um, and I'm not sure if it's coming out of here or out of the oil pump. So we're gonna take the covers off. Um, we're gonna have them uh, vapor blasted to clean them up, make them look nice. Replace the bolts or screws out with Allen screws so they're nice and not stripped because this is a Phillips and it looks like a Robertson and this one's marred here so it should clean up a bunch of this um, but first we're going to take the exhaust off because I have a uh, replacement one here give me a hand with it you got it I just wind it in the end how's it look it's fun uh, I don't know how that's going to mount it's gonna mount just fine. <clears throat> so we got a EG. It's uh, for a YSR 50, but they sell a replacement bung. You cut this off, and they have a replacement one for 50 bucks to replace it. So we'll kind of test it and see how it'll mount. Just right there. Dude, dude. It's easy to find. What's that weight? Okay. Let's go. Get like eight pounds to a good two pounds. Wish you could even bring a scale and let's have a look. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. Massive weight difference. Eight to two. That you have to hold with two hands. This you almost don't have to hold. P.3 
1598, made in Japan. But this specifically because of this venture. Because they're not a Phillips. That's why this cam's out in strips. These are, I can't remember the name of them, but. little gift here. I just want to make sure this is recording. It's been recording this whole time? Yeah, it has been. <laughs> oh yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm thinking she's a rebuild. She is just a little metal inside. So I'm thinking the, uh, holy that's not dirt, that is straight up metal. Yeah, I know.
so you saw us pull the other side off. Um, it was kind of full of metallic material, but it doesn't look like it's, it looks more like it's clutch material than anything else. When it was riding it last summer, um, it did not have enough oil in it. And because I'm an idiot, I didn't know that. So yeah, we gotta pull this oil pump anyways and then this bearing. Um, so these can all be vapor blasted. Yeah, I'll do it later. That's supposed to be bent in there? No. That's supposed to be straight. Well, no, maybe not. It's hard to tell. It seems to be straight out. Chains. What crap? That's gotta be a flywheel. Oh no! That's the fucking mag! Magneto! Charger generator stuff. So yeah, I don't know how the clutch cable pulls from this that's, side. To that's bent. Yeah, it caught, that's it came out. It's supposed to be in further, but it doesn't look like it's causing any problems. It's going to cause problems now because we have to pull it out to get the uh, spring out so it can be cleaned. Well, not really. We can just unhook the other end of the spring and send it. It can go be, it can be paper washed. Let's do it like that. Yeah, it can go like that. Side, now I snap fucking this. Can I screw it over? Can you loosen this out? Can you loosen the hole somewhere? No, I'm just gonna do a slack in there. Go ahead. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here. Put over this way a little. And you want to see me struggle? Is that it? I want to see what you're f really. Well, for one, this is bent over, which is good. What's bent over? That piece right there. It's bent over so the cable can't go up and through. Yeah. And at the same time, I can't see where this comes out of. <laughs> editing that out, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, I got, I got it stuck. Stop filming me. Oh. Can we not pull the gasket on the side? No. You pull the gasket on the side. 
Well, we figured out why it's leaking. That kind of happens when you have no gasket. Well, good to know. Oof. The other thing, I don't know if you can see. I'll check the footage later. Uh, this pin was supposed to be pushed in, and it's not. It looks like it's been caught by the... Uh, by the chain. So, yeah. Cool. I'll get in touch with the vapor blasting guys and see what getting that clean. See if we see the chargers. Maybe. Maybe nice. Maybe you're worried as a sponsor thing. Yeah. Shit, where'd I put them? Good diet. Yeah, let me see what's quite nice. 